you know, it's another thank you to Mother Nature for giving us <laughs> great weather for the past few days. So Damon Singleton joins us with more on that. Today's really the last day that, you know, we're going to really going to enjoy these nice crisp temperatures. Yeah, the, the temperatures are, are definitely on the way up. The humidity is going to be back uh, later on this afternoon, but uh, much more significant on Thursday, Friday, and into the weekend. So uh, if, you're, if you can get out for lunch outdoors today, it's probably going to be a, a good day to do that. This afternoon is looking good. Your run this morning or this afternoon should be, well, it's going to pr probably be a little more of a challenge this afternoon with the temperatures in the 80s instead of those 70s we had yesterday. Uh, here's a look through our, uh, our camera over at Harris, Con Harris Casino this morning and looking pretty good down there in the CBD. Not much in terms of fog this morning. Had some low visibility issues uh, down here on parts of the South Shore, but uh, not so much so right now. Here's a look at your headlines for today. Another nice day is in the forecast. Showers and storms will be with us overnight tonight and into the early morning hours. And rain is going to be back again with us on Friday and into Saturday as well. There's a warm front down in the Gulf of Mexico that's making its way uh, towards us here in southeast Louisiana. Cold front here, a low pressure area headed in this direction as well. Just a com combination of forces that is, that's bringing us the rainfall, chances that, uh, that are with us for the next couple of days. But right now, we are rain free north and south of Lake Little Falls Returns showing up down along the coastline this morning. Here's a look at the forecast model showing you that rain uh, potential for the afternoon is not much showing up. Uh, some clear part and cloudy skies for the most part. Again, I think it's going to be a pretty nice afternoon uh, with a little more cloud cover than we've seen the last couple of days. And here comes the rain, the thunderstorm activity later on tonight. This is at 2 a.m. in the, in the uh, overnight hours. And uh, we have some scattered showers at that time, some thunderstorm activity uh, around 3 and 4 a.m., especially on the Mississippi Gulf Coast at that time. And when you're waking up in the morning, you'll probably wake to some scattered showers and storms as well when you're uh, heading, uh, heading to school or to work, uh, dropping off the kids. Uh, you're probably going to deal with some pretty slippery roads and some rainfall as well. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're up early, early, <laughs> like some of us here, uh, you may see some blinding rainfall across the area because it's going to be coming down pretty hard in some parts of the area. But by 11 a.m., noontime, all the rain should be pretty much off into the Gulf of Mexico at that time or down along the coastline. And we should have a mostly rain free afternoon. And then here comes the rain for Friday. And this is at 9 a.m. on Friday morning. This little eddy develops and moves uh, mainly across the south shore. So, uh, north shore, that doesn't mean you won't get any rainfall. That just means the better chance, the best chance of rain for Friday, especially in the morning hours, is, uh, is on the south shore. And that just kind of dissipates away. This is at noontime on Friday. You can see most of us are rain free at that time. So, uh, the rest of the afternoon should be pretty, uh, should be pretty decent. Some probably some mostly cloudy skies. That'll last into the evening. And then here's the rain that's uh, lining up and developing for Saturday. And that looks like it's going to be mainly a morning thing. Uh, but we're going to follow that very closely. We'll let you know as things change. Otherwise, here's a look at your hour by hour forecast. I'm thinking by noontime, we're all somewhere in the upper 70s to the low 80s. Your highs this afternoon will be in the low to mid 80s. That southeasterly wind at about 10 miles per hour will be with us. And then by 6 p.m. tonight, we're back down into the upper 70s. If you're making plans to head out to the Pelicans game tomorrow night, maybe some spotty showers will be around at the 6 p.m. hour. And then when we're heading out of the arena in victory, some cloudy skies and humid conditions. The temperatures will be mild. If you're going to jazz in the park on Thursday afternoon, about 85 degrees, so mild and breezy. Then about a 20 to 30 percent chance of rainfall. And if you're heading out for NOLA Navy week, uh, well, it's kind of a mixed bag, I guess. But overall, you should have some pretty decent conditions with those temperatures in the 80s. So prepare yourself for the warmth and the humidity. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast as I hand this off to Susan Isaacs in Time City.